The Soyuz MS Russian, Suzmiz Grau, 11F732A48 is the latest revision of the Soyuz spacecraft. It is an evolution of the Soyuz TMAM spacecraft, with modernization mostly concentrated on the communications and navigation subsystems. It is used by the Russian Federal Space Agency for human spaceflight. Soyuz MS has minimal external changes with respect to the Soyuz TMAM, mostly limited to antennas and sensors, as well as the thruster placement. The first launch was Soyuz MS 01 on July 7, 2016, aboard a Soyuz FG launch vehicle towards the ISS. The trip included a two day checkout phase for the design before docking with the ISS on July 9. Design A Soyuz spacecraft consists of three parts from front to back a spheroid orbital module a small aerodynamic re-entry module a cylindrical service module with solar panels attached the first two portions are habitable living space by moving as much as possible into the orbital module, which does not have to be shielded or decelerated during atmospheric re-entry, the Soyuz three-part craft is both larger and lighter than the two-part Apollo spacecraft's command module. The Apollo command module had 6 cubic meters of living space and a mass of 5000 kilograms. The three-part Soyuz provided the same crew with 9 cubic meters of living space, an airlock, and a service module for the mass of the Apollo capsule alone. This does not take into consideration the orbital module that could be used in place of the LEM in Apollo. Soyuz can carry up to three cosmonauts and provide life support for them for about 30 person days. The life support system provides a nitrogen oxygen atmosphere at sea level partial pressures. The atmosphere is regenerated through KO2 cylinders, which absorb most of the CO2 and water produced by the crew and regenerates the oxygen, and LiOH cylinders which absorb leftover CO2. The vehicle is protected during launch by a nose fairing, which is jettisoned after passing through the atmosphere. It has an automatic docking system. The ship can be operated automatically, or by a pilot independently of ground control. Topic. Orbital module bow. The forepart of the spacecraft is the orbital module in Russian, also known as the habitation section. It houses all the equipment that will not be needed for re-entry, such as experiments, cameras or cargo. Commonly, it is used as both eating area and lavatory. At its far end, it also contains the docking port. This module also contains a toilet, docking avionics and communications gear. On the latest Soyuz versions, a small window was introduced, providing the crew with a forward view. A hatch between it and the descent module can be closed so as to isolate it to act as an airlock if needed with cosmonauts exiting through its side port at the bottom of this picture, near the descent module. On the launch pad, cosmonauts enter the spacecraft through this port. This separation also lets the orbital module be customized to the mission with less risk to the life-critical descent module. The convention of orientation in zero gravity differs from that of the descent module, as cosmonauts stand or sit with their heads to the docking port. <laughs> Reentry module SA. The re-entry module in Russian, SA is used for launch and the journey back to Earth. It is covered by a heat-resistant covering to protect it during re-entry. It is slowed initially by the atmosphere, then by a braking parachute, followed by the main parachute which slows the craft for landing. At one meter above the ground, solid fuel braking engines mounted behind the heat shield are fired to give a soft landing. One of the design requirements for the re-entry module was for it to have the highest possible volumetric efficiency internal volume divided by hull area. The best shape for this is a sphere, but such a shape can provide no lift, which results in a purely ballistic re-entry. Ballistic re-entries are hard on the occupants due to high deceleration and can't be steered beyond their initial deorbit burn. That is why it was decided to go with the headlight shape that the Soyuz uses a hemispherical forward area joined by a barely angled conical section 7 degrees to a classic spherical section heat shield. This shape allows a small amount of lift to be generated due to the unequal weight distribution. 
The nickname was coined at a time when nearly every automobile headlight was a circular paraboloid. Topic: <laughs> Service module POW. At the back of the vehicle is the service module in Russian, Priborno Aggregatnij Otsek POW Priborno Aggregationi Otsek POW. It has an instrumentation compartment in Russian, Prebornij Otsek Po Priborni Otsek PO, a pressurized container shaped like a bulging can that contains systems for temperature control, electric power supply, long-range radio communications, radio telemetry, and instruments for orientation and control. The propulsion compartment in Russian, Aggregatnij Otsek Au Aggregationi Otsek Au, a non-pressurized part of the service module, contains the main engine and a spare, liquid fuel propulsion systems for maneuvering in orbit and initiating the descent back to Earth. The ship also has a system of low thrust engines for orientation, attached to the intermediate compartment in Russian, Perihodnoj Otsek Fo Perekhodnoi Otsek PKHO. Outside the service module are the sensors for the orientation system and the solar array, which is oriented towards the sun by rotating the ship. Reentry procedure Because its modular construction differs from that of previous designs, the Soyuz has an unusual sequence of events prior to reentry. The spacecraft is turned engine forward and the main engine is fired for de-orbiting fully 180 degrees ahead of its planned landing site. This requires the least propellant for re-entry, the spacecraft traveling on an elliptical Hohmann orbit to a point where it will be low enough in the atmosphere to re-enter. Early Soyuz spacecraft would then have the service and orbital modules detach simultaneously. As they are connected by tubing and electrical cables to the descent module, this would aid in their separation and avoid having the descent module alter its orientation. Later Soyuz spacecraft detach the orbital module before firing the main engine, which saves even more propellant, enabling the descent module to return more payload. In no case can the orbital module remain in orbit as an addition to a space station, for the hatch enabling it to function as an airlock is part of the descent module. Re-entry firing is typically done on the «dawn» side of the Earth, so that the spacecraft can be seen by recovery helicopters as it descends in the evening twilight, illuminated by the Sun when it is above the shadow of the Earth. Since the beginning of Soyuz missions to the ISS, only five have performed nighttime landings. <laughs> Soyuz MS improvements The Soyuz MS received the following upgrades with respect to the Soyuz TMAM. The fixed solar panels of the September Russian, CEP, Systema Electropotania power supply system have had their photovoltaic cell efficiency improved to 14% from 12% and collective area increased by 1.1 square meters 12 square feet. A fifth battery with 155 amp-hour capacity known as 906 volts was added to support the increased energy consumption from the improved electronics. Additional micro-meteoroid protection was added to the BOW orbital module. The new computer TSVM101 weighs 1/8 that of its predecessor 8.3 kg vs 70 kg while also being much smaller than the previous Argon 16 computer. While as of July 2016 it is not known whether the propulsion system is still called KTDU-80, it has been significantly modified. While previously the system had 16 high-thrust DPOB and 6 low-thrust DPOM in one propellant supply circuit, and 6 other low-thrust DPOM on a different circuit, now all 28 thrusters are high-thrust DPOB, arranged in 14 pairs. Each propellant supply circuit handles 14 DPOB, with each element of each thruster pair being fed by a different circuit. This provides full fault tolerance for thruster or propellant circuit failure. The new arrangement adds fault tolerance for docking and undocking with one failed thruster or de-orbit with two failed thrusters. Also, the number of DPOB in the aft section has been doubled to eight, improving the de-orbit fault tolerance. The propellant consumption signal, EFIR was redesigned to avoid false positives on propellant consumption. The avionics unit, BADPO Russian, Bar Depo Blocky Avtomatiki Podsystema Vagatele Prakalavania I Orienta C had to be modified for changes in the RCS. 
Instead of relying on ground stations for orbital determination and correction, the now included satellite navigation system ASNK Russian, ASNK Apparatura Sputnikovoj Naviga C relies on GLONASS and GPS signals for navigation. It uses four fixed antennas to achieve a positioning accuracy of 5 meters (16 feet) and aims to reduce that number to as little as 3 centimeters (1.2 in) and to achieve an attitude accuracy of 0.5 degrees. The old radio command system, the BRTS (Russian: Bert's Bortovar Radio Teniseskar System) that relied on the KVAN TV, was replaced with an integrated communications and telemetry system, EKTS (Russian: Xednrk Omandno Telemetriseskar System). It can use not only the VHF and UHF ground stations, but thanks to the addition of an S-band antenna, the Luch constellation, as well, to have theoretical 85% of real-time connection to ground control. But since the S-band antenna is fixed and Soyuz spacecraft cruises in a slow longitudinal rotation, in practice this capability might be limited due to lack of antenna pointing capability. It may also be able to use the American TDRS and the European EDRS in the future. The old information and telemetry system, MBITS Russian, MB Malagabaritna Informationo Telemetriseska Systema has been fully integrated into the EKTS. The old VHF radio communication system Russian, Systema Telefono Telegranoj Svazi Rasvet M Russian, Rasvet M was replaced with the RASS VET 3BM Russian, Rasvet 3BM system that has been integrated into the EKTS. The old 38G6 antennas are replaced with four omnidirectional antennas two on the solar panel's tips and two in the POW plus one S-band phased array, also in the POW. The descent module communication and telemetry system also received upgrades that will eventually lead to having a voice channel in addition to the present telemetry. The EKTS system also includes a COSPASSARSAT transponder to transmit its coordinates to ground control in real time during parachute fall and landing. All the changes introduced with the EKTS enable the Soyuz to use the same ground segment terminals as the Russian segment of the ISS. The new Kurznar Russian Kurznar automatic docking system is now made indigenously in Russia. Developed by Sergei Medvedev of our NIITP, it is claimed to be 25 kilograms, 55 pounds lighter, 30% less voluminous and use 25% less power. An AO753A phased array antenna replaced the 2AOVKA antenna and 3AKRVKA antennas, while the 2-2ASFMVKA antenna were moved to fixed positions further back. The docking system received a backup electric driving mechanism. Instead of the analog TV system Klest M, Russian, Klest M the spacecraft uses a digital TV system based on MPEG 2, which makes it possible to maintain communications between the spacecraft and the station via a space to space RF link and reduces interferences. A new digital backup loop control unit, Burke, Russian, Burke Block Upravlenia Rezivnim Konturum, developed by RSC Energia, replaced the old avionics, the motion and orientation control unit, BUPO, Russian, Bupo Block Upravlenia Prekalavanyam I Orientache, and the signal conversion unit BPS, Russian. BP's block Priobrazovania signal. The upgrade also replaces the old rate sensor unit BDUS 3M, Russian, Boundus minus 3M, block Dachikov Uglavi Skoroshche with the new BDUS 3A, Russian, Boundus minus 3A. The old halogen headlights, SMI4, Russian, SMI minus 4, have been replaced with the LED powered headlight SFOK, Russian. A new black box SZIM Russian, ZM system of Zapomenania Informa C that records voice and data during the mission was added under the pilot's seat in the descent module. The dual unit module was developed at our RKS Corporation in Moscow with the use of indigenous electronics. It has a capacity of 4 GB and a recording speed of 256 KB per second. It is designed to tolerate falls of 150 meters per second, 490 feet per second, and is rated for 100,000 overwrite cycles and 10 reuses. It can also tolerate 700 degrees Celsius, 1,292 degrees Fahrenheit, for 30 minutes. Topic: <laughs> List of flights.
Topic completed. Soyuz MS-01, Soyuz MS-02, Soyuz MS-03, Soyuz MS-04, Soyuz MS-05, Soyuz MS-06, Soyuz MS-07, Soyuz MS-08, Soyuz MS-09. Soyuz MS-10 launch aborted due to booster failure, crew landed safely. See article. Topic. Current Soyuz MS-11 Soyuz MS-12 Topic. Planned Soyuz MS-13 Soyuz MS-14 Soyuz MS-15 Soyuz MS-16